What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my advanced guide to Dark Souls. So, as promised, we are back down by Firelink Shrine. And um, before you come back down here, go onto the steps of the parish and grab the basement key. Uh, you'll need that if you want to get into the Capra Demon area, which the Capra Demon is pretty much an optional boss. So, we're not going to be going into that area at all. But what we're going to be doing is heading on down to Blight Town through the quick way. So, this episode's probably not going to be too long because it is quite easy. Um, don't really know why Logic is standing, but a um, little cool trick, if you uh, kick him a few times, he'll fall off the cliff here. And then uh, next time you go through a loading screen and come back here, the Ring of Favor and Protection will be there. So you don't actually have to go through the whole uh, Firekeeper thing and he won't kill the Firekeeper, ever. The Firekeeper will stay here and you get all his loot first and uh, it's a very useful way to get the Ring of Favor and Protection early on in game. But, um, if it's your first playthrough, I wouldn't recommend doing that, so that's why I didn't show it in my beginner's guide. But, now you know. Be happy. So, head on down to New Londo. Uh, just like you normally would. Down this super long elevator. Uh, the hollows down here don't get any more powerful. They stay as weak as possible. Let's see if we can make this jump. Yes, I love making that jump. Do some Dark Souls parkour. Gonna need the master key here to open it up. Grab this. Just a crappy large soul. And of course, if you guys know where we're going now, we are running through the back of Blight Town. So we do need the master key to come here, like I said, so be sure to pick one up. And if you know where we are, we're actually more than halfway through Blight Town. We're actually near the bottom, which is pretty awesome. We don't have to do pretty much anything. We can skip all of the depths, all of the lower undead burg. Uh, technically, we don't even have to do the gar- we could come here before doing the gargoyles. Uh, but you do have to do the gargoyles eventually to open up Sen's Fortress. So, we're just going to- oh, I missed the area. Right here. Just jump down. Roll. Careful when you're rolling. Uh, there's some pretty fatal falls around here. And, uh, the dudes who are following us, the big giants, will usually run off the cliff and kill themselves. Yep, they're starting to do it now. Let's see if maybe we can see one. No. They sound angry. I don't want to mess around with it. Something's killed. There, something just killed itself. Fun time. So yeah, uh, just wait for one of these to go by and then jump on it. Just uh, top off my health quickly. Since I don't have my heal spell anymore, because I changed it off in favor of more damaging things, but that's okay. I mean, we have enough Estus to last us the long road. So, roll off here. I'm going to throw on my awesome ring of uh, rusted iron ring so that I can run at least faster in the water. Arch Titanite, let's see if uh, she is here. No, see, she's not here this time. In my other playthrough, she was here for no reason. Strange. Anyway. Yeah, those giant guys are still pretty dangerous, so watch out for them. Don't go near them unless you want to fight. Which, uh, oh shit, apparently I do. Swap rings quick. Back to the lovely Havel's ring. One of the best rings in the game, definitely in the top five, if not top three. And see, we're already in Queef Queef's domain. Pretty quick to get here. And of course, ignoring these uh, monstrous, bulbous people because they will cause us to have a very crappy day. Even with a lot of poise, like I mentioned, they, uh, they cause shitty days. So, get rid of my poison. Top off my hill. And let's head on through. So spider lady is just spider lady as usual. Same stunt. I mean, she's not too difficult, especially with lightning. Like, look at that. You're getting torn.
Over here. Come on. Oh, you're trying to be crafty, eh? Well, it's not gonna help you, sorry. Yep. So yeah, that was uh, incredibly easy. I mean, Quaylog, she's hard for new players because it's the first time you actually have to memorize an attack pattern, but once you get her down, she's extremely easy. And she causes no threat. I don't even think she hit me. No, she didn't. So yeah, uh, we've already done that, and as you guys should know, just uh, run on back here and ring that bell. Cool. And so we've done that, and uh, here's a little cool thing since we uh, did tag any bonfires. Uh, be sure to not tag any bonfires because you can just do this. And since we didn't, this is just going to take us right back to where we started the video. Raid right at Firelink Shrine. So, we are all the way back here and we already have Sen's Fortress open. But that is for the next video. And I will see you guys in the next video, but I will leave you guys with a little bit of PvP.